Welcome back, bases. I trust you had a terrific Easter break. Today we are finally going to start playing a little bit on our E string, our very, very low string. Go ahead and turn to page 26 in your book. Book one, essential elements. Go ahead and turn to page 26, please. And at the top of page 26, there is a chart that'll tell you the notes that we're going to use. If you haven't tuned your bass yet, go ahead and stop the video. Get your tuner and make sure that you have it in tune, especially your B string and your A string. We'll be using those for certain, but it's always good to go ahead and tune all of them because you just never know what you might want to play while you've got your bass out. Okay, so by now, hopefully you have got your uh, book and your instrument all ready to go. So let's talk a little bit about uh, our low strings. When you get the lower strings that you have, the lower the string is, the more weight and the slower the bow that you're going to need to get a good sound. Um, so, you already know that as a bass player, your bow has got to go really slow and you've got to sink in and do just a little bit different than all those other string players do because of the mammoth size of your instrument. But go ahead and let's go ahead and make a beautiful bow hole for me, please. Hanging nice and low. Make sure that you are touching your feet and that your parrot is hanging over the edge and you're leaning on your captain. Check for a nice bumpy thumb. Looking good. Okay, let's go ahead and find your E string. That's your very low string, the string that's closest to you. And let's experiment on trying to get a nice sound there. Again, you're going to start right at the frog. Start nice and close to the frog. We're going to stay just in the lower part of our bow here. We don't want to use the whole thing for this big low string. So sink on in. <laughs> Maybe yours will sound better than mine did, right? together in a few moments okay so your first your first finger on your E string is going to be your red tape is going to be F sharp okay we're not going to use that for today okay. but go ahead and make your coat cam with a straw and come around and line up across your E string okay. and you are going to find that your elbow and arm are going to need to come around a bit to stretch over that way you don't want to tuck behind your base go ahead and reach around to get to your low string your first finger on that red tape, which is that sharp. And the first note you're going to need to know is G. That's your second finger. So go ahead and make that space for the strong. Make sure you've got that good space there. And put your second finger down. That's going to be G. You can fix it with me. And the next note you need, what note comes after G? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. We don't have an H. Next note is always A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, a. How do you play A? That's your open A string. Okay. So you have two on the E string for G. And then no fingers for A. One finger on the red tape. That's going to be B. And then two fingers is going to be C. Not C sharp. No chat here. Just C. Let's come down. Two on, two on the A string is C. One on the A string is B. Open A. And then two on the E string is G. G, A, B, C. Try. A, B, D. Let's come down. C, B, A, G, C, B, A, G. Let's get our bows now. 
And so it pushed really hard down that uh, little more warp on the E string, isn't it, to get that big fat string down. Okay, let's find the G. sure what metal piece is hitting. See if I get you a lovely G. I may not be able to. I bet your G sounds terrific though. I'm not sure what's buzzing, but you know how it is. It's always a discovery trying to figure it out. I think it's something up here in those fine tuners. But nonetheless, it is still a G. It's still a G and we get to play it. mix it up a little bit. Can you play? Line in just a few minutes on another video. Proud of you. Good job. See you soon.